Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here, and today the iPhone dev team has finally released a new jailbreak tool compatible with A5 chip devices, so this will include the iPhone 4S and the iPad 2. So I'd like to give a big thanks to them for their very hard and diligent work to get this out to the public as soon as possible. So this new application is called Absynth, and you can download it from the iDownload blog website. If you scroll down here, you will see where it says uh, Absynth right there, and you can download it. Uh, at the time that of uh, making this video, the Mac version of this application is currently the only one one available, but the Windows version should hit here very soon. So just uh, keep checking back on this site and you should see the link there uh, eventually. So this tool is very simple and easy to use. All you have to do is download it. Once you've got it open, then plug in your device and you'll see I have an iPhone 4S running iOS 5.0.1, but iOS 5.0 will work as well. And all you have to do for this jailbreak is press the jailbreak button. Now, I want to warn you guys that this jailbreak does take longer than other jailbreaks that you may have been used to in the past, so just make sure not to mess around with your device while this process is going on so you don't uh, interfere with the jailbreak process itself. It will take some time, don't be alarmed, just wait until uh, the application itself says it's okay to begin using your device again. So let's go ahead and start that process now. So uh, I'm just going to fast forward this uh, with some video editing and I'll show you guys what happens then when you're done. So once you reach this screen, it is safe then to unlock your device, and what you're going to do now is look for the mobile Absinthe application that will be loaded onto one of the home screens on your device. So if you've got an open spot somewhere, it should be loaded uh, into that spot, but if you don't have any, it'll go to the last page as it did on my device. So once you open this up, then it should take you over to the Green Poison website and uh, reboot your device, and then you will have Cydia. But a lot of people are running into an error like I did in this particular demo, where it has trouble establishing a uh, database connection. So if you do you receive this error there is a very simple fix all you have to do is uh, go back to the home screen and open up the settings application once in there then you can in, uh, toggle on the VPN option that you see right there your device will reboot and then you should have Cydia installed so hopefully that uh, database connection error uh, bug will be fixed in future versions of Absinthe, but since it is still the first version, it's definitely understandable. Uh, so I'd like to give a big thanks once again to the iPhone dev team for their hard work on this, and I look forward to hopefully uploading some more videos involving jailbreaking tweaks, themes, and applications. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please like it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.